All right, back here on Study Ball, and we are continuing to talk about the Super Bowl champs. I told you earlier in the week, took a look at Mike Evans, which is really where that offense starts. And then, as we said, number two is, of course, Chris Godwin, but we skipped over him to look at some of the extra pieces that are in this offense, some of the great complementary pieces. But there is nothing better when you have not only a number one and a number two, a true number one and a true number two wide receiver. But what I love is when you have the number one that is definitely a guy that can play on the outside, that can win on the outside in those one-on-one situations, and that is Mike Evans. No doubt Chris Godwin can do the same thing. He can play outside, he can win outside. But what I love is when you have a number one that plays on the outside and you've got a number two that can go inside, can be the difference maker on the inside. Talked a little bit about it in the last session, how sometimes you can put Mike Evans and Chris Godwin together because both of them can play inside, but you got a great inside receiver in Chris Godwin. You got your outside stretch big receiver in Mike Evans. Great complimentary piece there. But the Tampa Bay Bucks do a lot of great things with Chris Godwin in the position he plays on the inside. Think about Bruce Arians and his history all the way back to Pittsburgh. Loved to use Heinz Ward as a physical presence in the run game, and then he would use him on the inside to use that physicality to make big plays for him. Go to Arizona. He switched Larry Fitzgerald from that big outside receiver to an inside receiver. Use Larry in the run game. You did some unique things with him in the run game, play action game, and also on the inside, and that is how he has uh, adapted with Chris Godwin in this offense as well, as he's become that Heinz Ward, Larry Fitzgerald type player And it starts inside the box, in the run game, and then everything complements off of that. Let's take a look. So as we said, it starts with Chris Godwin. Here he is right here on the outside, but they're going to motion him down to the inside. And this is where he becomes a real difference maker for this team. It starts in the run game. We're going to motion him down. We believe he's got the physicality and the understanding to be able to block different guys. He can come up through here, block linebackers, block safeties who drop down. In this case, his job is to block Zedaria Smith. Now, they're not asking him to block him four yards down the field. He's simply going to cut off on the backside. But just putting him in this position, now it forces the defense to start to wonder, okay, now i got to get my eyes in the backfield. He's dropping in there to block. And now we can do some very unique things with him. You see this now. Because we're able to cut off with Chris Godwin, we're able to pull backside guard and tackle and lead them up through the front side by using a wide receiver, not a tight end, a wide receiver to cut off the backside gives them a chance to run a power play to the front side because we've got a receiver that can do that. But here's where they get into the nuances of the game. This is late in the game against the Packers. We're going to come and we're going to put Chris Godwin right in there again. All right, we're going to put him in the box there where he can come up and he can block one of these safeties. He can get up in the mix. He can be a lead blocker for us because he's got that physicality. We're going to come back, big back in the backfield, hard play action, block, block, block. Now we're going to leak him out and get an easy play right here for a big first down, critical situation, but Chris Godwin and his physicality, his ability to play inside, gives you some unique opportunities that you might not get otherwise, okay? Now you're going to see Chris Godwin, once again, he's lined up on the outside, but now it's going to be a little stick, and now he becomes our physical receiver to the inside. We're going to run our wide receiver screens with him because he is so tough on the inside, tough to bring down able to run through contact, make big plays for us on short throws, little wide receiver screen through the middle, boom, bouncing, making guys miss, running through guys, getting big plays in unique ways because he can move to the inside and he's got that physicality and shiftiness to make plays. All right, now he's the guy that we love to use once again, inside by the hashes. Now we're going to make the little play fake here. We're going to run the swing here. We're going to try to split these guys. Now, we're going to use Chris Godwin in the play action game and bang a quick skinny post on him right here into contact, being able to make plays in traffic.
Now, we put them all the way inside. This is something that I know Tom Brady brought this from New England because this is something that New England used to love to do, is put Julian Edelman on the inside and allow him to be the choice runner. Love to run double seams here. Usually have Gronk, not sure if that's him, but probably him. Gronk there, you put Mike Evans on the inside. You got your running back out here to run a hitch. Antonio Brown in this situation running the hitch on the outside. But it's a favorite play of the Patriots. I broke it down on QB Confidential, my website. Ran this play three straight times in Super Bowl 53 because they love this play. But you got to have a smart guy and a physical guy to play on the inside. And here, Chris Godwin, he gets his opportunity to read it. He can come in here and he can sit. He can come in here and move across the field. He can come in here, sit for a second, bounce back out the front side. He gets a full choice compliment here. He gets to make his choice right here. You see him just find the hole, settle, confidence, run through the bodies, be able to be physical after the catch. We're going to come here. He is on the inside once again. Now it's just a little stutter. I'm going to stick that mic linebacker. Now I'm able to cross his face. Boom, once again. Work in the middle of the field is a unique skill. When you have a guy that's physical, a big time playmaker that can do things with the ball in his hands, it's a difference maker for your team to be able to bring one of your studs to the inside. We'll start him on the outside. We're going to motion him down once again to the inside. Hard play action. Use our big tight end to take this away. We got man-to-man. -man. Now we get one-on-one -on -one with that physicality. Got to be physical in here, able to win that battle, hold his guy off, cross the safety's face. Once you cross the safety's face, you get all this space to work with Chris Godwin, who's got great physicality. Boom, run through the contact and great speed to run away from you. Easy touchdown here in the playoffs for Tom Brady against that man-to-man -man coverage. Just love his skill set and what he brings to the table on the inside. All right, now he's going to be in the slot. So it's also one of those things where, okay, you got to figure out who you want to double, who you want to grab within this offense. We got Mike Evans here in the slot. We got Antonio Brown out here. We got Gronk here. Can you cover him or one of their tight ends? They got a bunch of tight ends. Can you cover them one-on-one? -on -one? Because all of these guys have the ability to win the one-on-one -on -one matchup, especially when you have a guy that can work the inside and have those two-way goes on the inside. You'll see it right here. Gronk's going to push up. He's going to end up running a dig route here. Safety gets enamored with Gronk. Now you've got Chris Godwin once again attacking on the post, working the middle of the field. I got all kinds of options with my big name guys all over the place, but easiest throw for a quarterback is to work the inside of the field. So when you've got a good big time number one, one A type receiver like Chris Godwin that can work the inside of the field, it's a difference maker for a guy, well, it's easy for a guy like Tom Brady, but it's a difference maker for any quarterback to have those guys that can work the inside. And you see the big play after big play, these are the playoff games. Right, I went back and looked at the playoffs games as they kind of got into their mode of we're starting to play really, really good football. Right, We really put it together. We understand what our guys do well, and they started to shape what their offense was going to be. And these were all big plays that happened in the playoffs. Yes, Mike Evans showed up big at different times, but Chris Godwin in those first three playoff games wasn't huge in the Super Bowl, but in the first three playoff games, you see – Big play after big play after big play. And where do they happen for Chris Godwin? Mike Evans, a lot of those things happened outside. We saw that earlier in the week. This time with Chris, he or with Chris Godwin, now you've got, man, I'm talking about Superman, right? Now, or, <laughs> now we're talking about Chris Godwin. And with Chris Godwin, where do those happen? They happen on the inside. Right, So you've got your big playmaker on the outside when I get one-on-one. -on -one. When they want to double, put those safeties up over the top. Now i got a big-time playmaker that can work the inside and make big play after big play for me. So here's another look against the Packers. He motions. He's down the middle of the field. 
and this one, and the Packers even play this fairly well. But all I need is a little shade that direction by the safety. And once I get a little shade in that direction, now we're just going to run a post and he's not even open. I'm Tom Brady. I trust my guy. I'm just going to throw it up. My guy is more physical. My guy can go make the big plays. He's going to out jump, out play. That defender goes and makes a huge play early in the game when the Tampa Bay Bucks really needed a huge play. So there's a great look at how this offense has evolved and how they got so good, especially at the end of the year. Starts with Mike Evans. I got my guy. Saw it early on. Tom Brady trying to build up that rapport with Mike Evans on the outside. Then he started to gain confidence in those complimentary players, as we saw in video one. Hey, they want to double our main guys. I have so much confidence in my secondary guys that they are better than the guy across from them, whether it's the third DB, whether it's a linebacker or safety cover in one of our tight ends. I got so much confidence in them that, hey, pick your poison is what this Tampa Bay offense got to. And then I love this piece of it. When I was playing in Arizona, mentioned it the other day, I had Larry Fitzgerald and Anquan Bolden. Great thing about them was Larry was the big time outside guy and Anquan with his physicality was able to do different kinds of things on the inside, made it really, really top, really, really tough for defenses to stop what we were trying to do. Same holds true in Tampa. Really, really good player on the outside with Evans. Got some great complimentary pieces that can play on the outside. Now we can move Chris Godwin to the inside and really accentuate his skill set, his physicality, his run after catch, his ability to go up and get the football for the greatest quarterback of all time. That is why this offense is so difficult to stop because they've got great versatility on their offense and it starts with their receivers, number one and number 1A. Mike Evans, and Chris Godwin.